Hi, this is Thomas. Welcome back. Our topic is integration. This lesson is volume, example two. Our requirement reads, find the volume obtained when the region bounded by y equals square root two x plus two and y equals x squared plus two is rotated 360 degrees about the y axis. Before working with the algorithm, I'm going to sketch our two functions. Typically, you'll be given a diagram. In this case, we're going to create the diagram. And I have a straight line and a curve. Starting with y equals root 2x plus 2. That line has a y-intercept of 2 with a slope of root 2. We'll be going up and to the right through y equals 2. This is y equals root 2x plus 2. And our second function, y equals x squared plus 2, which is a parabola. The axis of symmetry is the y-axis, and the vertex will be at 0, 2. So drawing in that parabola. Here we have y equals x squared plus 2. The region that we're working with is the region bounded by the two functions, which I'm shading now. Notice that we are rotating about the y-axis. When we're rotating about the y-axis, we're using our second integration rule for volume. And notice that we need y functions. This integration rule is with respect to y. We need to convert the two x functions. We have two functions whose input variable is x. We need to convert those to y function functions whose input variable is y. And this analysis is part of step one of the algorithm. Identify function type. In this case, the key observation I want to make is that I'm given f of x and I want to convert to f of y. Again, because we're rotating about the y-axis, we want to be working with y functions. So let's begin with y equals root 2x plus 2. And we're going to solve or manipulate the function so that x is the subject. I'll subtract 2 from both sides. y minus 2 equals root 2x. I'll then divide both sides by root 2, and we're left with x equals y minus 2 over root 2. The second function, y equals x squared plus 2. I'll subtract 2 from both sides. y minus 2 equals x squared, and taking the square root of both sides, we end up with x equals plus or minus the square root of y minus 2. I'm going to eliminate the minus and only consider the positive value. The reason for that is looking back at our diagram, we see in the original two functions that for y equals x squared plus 2, that's the function we're manipulating now, the shaded region only relates to points on that curve that are to the right of the y-axis, in other words, only positive x values. So for our analysis, what I want to work with is x equals the positive root y minus 2. In order to apply our integration rule for volume, we need limits of integration. Again, because we're working with respect to y for the integration, we want two y values the two y values we want are the two y values from the points of intersection of our two functions. In order to solve for y, notice now we have two functions that are both with x as the subject, and we can set the right side of the first equation equal to the right side of the second equation. y minus 2 over square root of 2 equals square root of y minus 2. Here I'll square everything so that in the denominator on the left side of the equation we'll end up with y squared minus 4y plus 4 divided by 
2, which is the square root of 2 squared, equals y minus 2. I'll multiply both sides of the equation by 2. y squared minus 4y plus 4 equals 2y minus 4. Now to solve for the quadratic, I'll move all terms to the left side of the equation and set the equation equal to 0. y squared minus 4y minus 2y, using the opposite sign to change the side, minus 6y, plus 8. I have a plus 4 on the left, a minus 4 on the right. To switch sides, I'll change the minus 4 to plus 4. y squared minus 6y plus 8 equals 0. I'll factor the quadratic into two linear factors, y and y. Factors of 8 which sum to negative 6 are negative 4 and negative 2. And our solutions y equals 4 and 2. I'll indicate these two points in the diagram with arrows. The first solution and the second solution. And again, the values we're interested in are the y values. And those y values are our two solutions to the quadratic, 4 and 2. Now we're ready for integration. Step 2, apply integration rule. We're using the second integration rule given at the top of the screen with one adjustment. Similar to what we've seen in area calculations when we're dealing with two functions, we're going to subtract one function from another. First I'll give the general rule and then we'll fill in the specifics from this particular example. When I'm using two different functions in calculating my volume, I will multiply pi by the definite integral from a to b of function 1 squared minus function 2 squared. And again, this is with respect to y because we are rotating about the y-axis. Now it's important that I place the right function in the right spot in the subtraction. The first function is the outer function, the one that is farthest from the y-axis, and the second function is the inner function, the function which is closer to the y-axis. This is the general rule for calculating volume of a rotated region between two functions. This ends part one of the lesson, and when we return in the next video, we'll apply this general rule to our scenario.